Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So this is uh, a very important course on the blue economy and more on that focus on the valuation of the blue economy activities. And not only the activities, but also what we call the components, uh, what we uh, call about the uh, environmental components of the blue economy. So we will come back on this very soon. So just to come back about the why this, this course is important about the, the valuation is that uh, about for about five years now, we, we are seeing a development of the blue economy everywhere in the world, but uh, with a special attention in, in Africa. So just to remind, uh, the African Union has developed their blue economy strategy in 2020, has been validated in, 2000, in February 2020. Uh, many other uh, RECs or regional economic committees are also developed their um, blue economy strategies. So I can mention the IGAD for the Horn of Africa, the IOC, uh, which is a commission, but has also developed its uh, blue economy strategy. And many countries like Seychelles, uh, South Africa, uh, uh, Ivory Coast, and Cabo Verde, for instance, are, are, are currently implementing their blue economy. And, the, uh, and quite surprisingly, or not surprisingly, every country, every communities, every commission, and even the African Union is facing the same issue, which is about how can we assess the value of the activities at the moment. Uh, we can mention the fisheries, we can mention the coastal tourism, the transportations, the port activities. Everything around the, the blue, the blue uh, energy, the blue technologies, everything around the use of the sea and the use of the lake and the rivers in Africa. How do we do that? Okay, so usually we we um, we take into account the value addition, and so we go to the statistics and we see how much the fisheries is contributing to the P, uh, the, uh, the GDP. Same for the port, etc. But we are very, very often facing the issue of not having the data as uh, uh, the right disaggregated level and not having the data for all the sectors, especially the emerging sector or the informal sectors. So this is why with Unica, we have developed this valuation toolkit in order to be able to put some value on these activities and also to be able to monitor the uh, we can say the development or the progress of these sectors or activities just to see if the implementation of the blue policy is effective or not. So that's for the economics. For the environmental uh, components, uh, everybody is aware about the, the rise of the, the concerns for the uh, ecosystem services, but we are facing the same issue and with the economic one, is that how do we assess the contribution of these ecosystem services to a country or, or also at the regional level or the what we call the large marine ecosystem level. So for this, within these toolkits that, that Philippe will present you very, very soon, uh, we have uh, developed uh, a way to assess the contribution of the nature uh, to the blue economy. And the third things that we have assessed is about this, the social uh, components. So we need to be able to see if the blue economy is profitable for everybody. So if it's an equitable mechanism. So for all of these reasons, we have developed with Unica in the, uh, in 2020 a toolkit for um, being able to to um, to assess this the, the the different contribution, but also to monitor the progress of the economics, the environment, and the social. So that's why it's it's something very important to to have a look on and to to work on this uh, three weeks uh, module. So I will let the, the the parole to Phil, so that will explain in a more details how the toolkit is working, and what we will look at during the the the, the three coming weeks. Thank you. Good morning or good afternoon, depending where you are. So my name is Philippe Lallemand, and I'm going to talk about the actual toolkit that uh, we've been designing uh, in the past few months. Um, first, um, you have to be aware the valuation toolkit has been designed, uh, like Pierre was saying, to capture the various dimensions of human interaction with the blue environment, 
which is, which is not only the ocean, the lakes also, and the rivers, and everything that's blue, uh, water-based, and account for the various types of benefit, environmental, ecological, utilitarian, hedonist, and monetary. It can produce through the blue economy uh, that we later on call BE for, for some simplicity. In our valuation toolkit, we cover three main aspects of BE. Uh, the first aspect is the economic aspect, uh, through which we identify any economic activities associated with BE. The social aspect, the second, uh, second aspect, through which we identify the human dimension of any social interaction with the blue economy. And the third aspect is the ecosystem aspect uh, that Pierre was mentioning at the end, through which we identify any natural habitat and the ecosystem services they provide, which are associated with BE. Um, in the blue economic valuation toolkit, we call it the BEVTEC or BEVTK uh, for short. Uh, those three aspects of B are articulated around a series of recent classification systems, which are widely accepted among international experts and compatible with system of national accounting or SMA that the UN system of environmental economic accounting, uh, the SEEA and economic service accounting. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you how, uh, if I can find it, so this is the structure of the uh, of the toolkit. Hopefully you can see it. Um, at first, we uh, we when we first started the toolkit, we had to work with uh, we were able to work with three countries. So that's why those three different pockets are showing uh, different uh, uh, tags, uh, and those were Djibouti, Seychelles, and Rwanda. But it could be any country. Um, and so we get data from those countries. And then um, after that, is, all this information is being input into the, into the dashboard uh, through the toolkit. And we, we feed those three different modules, which I mentioned. The first one being, and the top one being the ecosystem services. The second one, the economic activities. And the third one, the social uh, attributes of the associated with the blue economy. And then uh, all the, once the, the, the table have been entered with the data, the raw data, this produces um, a series of chart and pivot tables and, and pivot charts as well, which summarize this information. So it's very well structured and like any done in Excel. So any, any of those pivot uh, table or pivot charts can be filtered uh, depending on the user needs. And um, there's also a link to uh, data from the internet, uh, among other, uh, it's a link to the exchange rate. So we can uh, express any value in the current currency. Uh, there's also um, uh, what I call utility tables. So those are the information that helps uh, to calibrate all those data uh, to deflate using GDP deflator and, and so on. And uh, finally, you get um, at the end, we get a summary or uh, I call a snapshot of the situation in the country, which basically summarize those summaries, those three modules uh, in a more concise way. And once those summary are being uh, produced, uh, this can be exported um in a pdf format so to, to make it easier for the user to have one file which basically summarize or gather or collect all this information from the three different modules and and the b snapshot um so in other words so this is uh when you relate the classification system so the module the economic module is based on the uh, international standard of industrial classification of all economic activity uh, or asic region four uh, then we have the environmental or ecosystem module relies on three different nomenclature, uh, two different nomenclatures. So the IUCN uh, ecosystem topology number two or version two and the sizes. Uh, this is for the ecosystem services version 5.1 and some information from the from the um, uh, journal article. Then we have the social module which are based on indicators that we picked from uh, from different uh, sources. Uh, from stable seas, from the uh, from the UN uh, and uh, the World Bank, uh, to to name just a few. And finally, uh, I was mentioning earlier the utility database, which has information on the exchange rates, uh, on the deflators for to calibrate some of the data if they come from different years, and and all the information on the country itself. And uh, at the end, I, I will give you uh, this, this. This presentation will be available, and we have access to uh, a series of different documents that uh, with links to download those documents. Thank you very much.
Okay, so thank you, Philippe, for these uh, presentations. Um, so what we are expecting from you is, is first that uh, you enjoy the, the courses, that, that's very important. And secondly, that you take this as an opportunity to uh, learn about the blue economy, have, have a good understanding of what the blue economy means, uh, which is not only the development of the economic activities, but it's also the, uh, the development of the, or the restoration or the improvement of the ecosystem's uh, health, uh, the, what we call the blue ecosystem. So that's something important. And also a good understanding how, how we can record uh, both the economic, I mean, the economic activities, the environmental components, and also the social benefits that uh, are uh, resulting for the, from the implementation of the blue economy strategies. So that's something important. So we are, uh, I, I, I have to say, almost bilingual, Philip and myself. Uh, we are better in French than in English, or I am better in French than in English. And But we have also some um, uh, ladies that will help us. So the tutors that are Miali and Antaya, they are really, they have, fully speak English and French. So we are here to help you on this. So that's something something important. And uh, what we really want you to, to do is to be curious about the blue economy and even more curious about the valuation toolkit because it's, this is something that you will have to use uh, in, your, in your country to assess and to monitor the blue economy implementation. So for this, I would like to thank you for joining this uh, course and uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you.